Hey there, sound snobs. We are testing some open cell foam against our dope felt. This open cell foam I purchased on Amazon. Claims to be one inch and one square foot. It is neither. Um, it's close. Foam might seem like a low cost, non-toxic solution for acoustic treatment, but there are numerous problems with this product. One. Foam breaks down after about five years. If this is shedding microplastics into your environment and you're taking it, you're breathing it in, it's getting into your food and your water. This is trash. This design claims that it's deflecting. It's not deflecting, this is absorbent material. All, all it is is less absorbent material. You're, you're getting ripped off. You know, we're going up against hemp felt. This is 100% hemp fiber. You can purchase this on dopanels.com or dopanels on Etsy or dopanels on the Facebook Marketplace, or you can just reach out to me and I can get you some dope felt. Um, this is a quarter inch versus a one inch. I've done this test before, so I kind of know, but there were some anomalies to this test, so I felt as though I should test again. This graph represents two frequency sweeps from 10 hertz to 15,000 hertz, or 15 kilohertz. The bluish green line represents the Amazon foam, and the red line represents the hemp felt. Now I will add in the black line, which represents the same frequency sweep, but without any absorbent material. As you can see, there is very little change. I will get a little deeper into the numbers here in a second, but here you can see more similarities than distinctions, and will only add to a body of evidence to help understand room treatment materials. Now there are certainly issues with my room and methods, but through abundant testing, we can see some general patterns. Certainly there is absorption from both materials, but the felt seems to provide more absorption despite having significantly less depth. It might be hard to see, so I will toggle between them. No baseline, with baseline. No baseline, with baseline. No baseline, with baseline. Now let's look at the difference in the performance between the foam and the broadband absorbers. This three inch dope panel was tested in a prior video against a fiberglass panel made by a company called Gick. See the difference in frequency absorption? Now look at it against three layers of foam and four layers of felt. The broadband absorbers are at least twice as effective as three inches of foam. This is why people spend so much money on room treatment and why poorly planned absorption methods can lead to worse results. It also highlights how difficult it is to absorb low frequencies. Look at it again. Broadband absorbers, foam and felt. Broadband absorbers, foam and felt. A standard noise reduction coefficient, or NRC, tests only at 125 hertz to 4000 hertz. I like to look at 60 hertz to 10,000 hertz because this is a closer representation of human hearing. And until we start building critical listening environments for bats and dolphins, I will stick to the spectrum. Now let's look at the numbers. The low end figures are inconclusive. These frequencies are too big to accurately assess in my room, but these are the readings and are not without reason to at least acknowledge. I did not think I would see any difference in 60 hertz, but the foam saw a 0.4 decibel reduction and the felt provided a 0.6 decibel reduction. At 125 hertz, the foam provided a 0.1 decibel reduction and the hemp provided a 0.7 decibel reduction. At 250 hertz, the foam saw a strange decibel increase of 0.2, which makes me think this point is not applicable. The felt provided a 0.3 decibel reduction. At 500 hertz, the foam provided a 0.1 decibel reduction, and the hemp provided a 0.6 decibel reduction. At 1000 hertz, the foam provided a 0.4 decibel reduction, and the hemp provided a 1.7 decibel reduction. At 2000 hertz, the foam provided a 0.1 decibel reduction, and the felt provided a 0.7 decibel reduction. At 4000 hertz, the foam provided a 2.1 decibel reduction, and the hemp had a very questionable 11.8 decibel reduction. This is not consistent with the multiple layer test or any other hemp felt test that I've done, which is why there is an asterisk by that number. At 5,000 hertz, the foam beat out the felt by providing two decibels of reduction, while the felt provided a 1.2 decibel reduction. And finally, at 10,000 hertz, the foam provided 2.6 decibel reduction, and the felt provided 3.9 decibel reduction. Here's another method of analysis. The waterfall graph shows volumes as well as room reverb times, up to 300 milliseconds. This is the baseline, this is one layer of foam, this is a layer of felt. This is two layers of foam, now two layers of felt. Now three layers of foam, now three layers of felt. 
now four layers of felt. Keep in mind the four layers of felt has less than half the depth of three layers of foam, but several times the weight and density, which could be why it shows more low end absorption. I make panels with multiple layers of felt mixed in with the hemp fabrics because those are really dense and really absorbent. I'm going to be doing some tests on the hemp felt. Where's the hemp fabric? The hemp canvas is because it's 16.5 ounces per square foot. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hefty. I'm going to urge the world to go to natural fibers. I think they absorb better and I'm hoping to prove that with my test. So circumstantial science, no panel. Please like, subscribe, find us on social media for more circumstantial science and critical analysis of our tests and methods. Black. Carbon is the new gold.